When talking about God who lives in the highest place, of course he is capable. Indeed, God's place is the highest. However, if he is God, why would he become a human as Jesus, even God who can die too? Because he is God, so it is not impossible. He, as God too, can go down as deep as can be, but he can rise and live. Many are encountered by him to this day. Thus Jesus is God. Unlike Lucifer, tell Lucifer to be a human. He won't be able to. But God can be anything God wants because he is a creator. However, the Satan, Lucifer, he can't die and then rise. He can't live as a regular human being. And if given the illusion of the devil being most powerful and great only when he is possessing a human, making the human to be possessed, that's the devil's greatness. How could they want to look down on God who was willing to become a human even until he died? Like that is being a lonely thing? It is precisely the life and death of a person. It's a skill that must be through God's destiny and permission only. That is the highest skill. Only God who can do it. God can become a human who died and resurrected. The devil does not have the right to have this skill. Even the prophets who are elevated and moksha, like Enoch, like Gideon, who is Elijah, who is even picked up by God, they did not have the power to die and to rise from the dead. Because Jesus is the one who has the power to metamorphose, being born and can die, but can also rise as the Holy Spirit. Only Jesus as the only one who has the right to do it. And until today, his word is alive. His spirit is alive. Until today, he visits those who he wants to meet so that it is given an illusion that his crucifixion was replaced by someone else. If a caterpillar can morph into a butterfly from the original element, how much more so with God when he can metamorphose? That's what is debated by mankind. In fact, those mankind who do not believe those who doubt the Almighty God, thus that makes there is no faith on earth that He, God, is able to make Himself to become a human, going up to the highest, lowering to the deepest, because He is God. The source that makes human do not believe has been since the time of Adam because they trust themselves more. They are too confident with the concept of their logic about the meaning of power and greatness is as they think, which is what is high. God will not humble himself. In fact, Adam was created to reflect the Trinity who is alive to become the image of God after being breathed in the Holy Spirit. That is the breath of God. Therefore, Adam became the living image. The body of Adam became the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. In addition to that, Adam could move, could speak, and the words of Adam become the manifestation of the living word. But in the end, after he was deceived and ate the fruit of the knowledge, after a sins, human becomes dead to the manifestation of the word and the Holy Spirit. However, instead, they become alive for the manifestation of the breath of the world and their knowledge. That is the life of human. They become mortal after they fell into sin. They can only focus going in circle. This is good. This is evil. In fact, the good becomes evil 
and the evil becomes good. Since then, the meaning of mankind's life can view only from the perspective from the right side and the left side. In assessing the meaning of life only from the good and the evil side, they have lost the ability to view from the top and from the bottom side, the front and the back side, and there is more, the invisible side. Their faith, they do not believe if God can become a human, but they believe that they still have the Spirit of God. They even believe they can go back and promise heaven to others without the process of redemption and without the process of guarantee. Only by faith, they dare to give the promise of heaven that they do not even know. Therefore, Jesus came down to become the way for mankind who already become sinners. Therefore, Jesus becomes the Redeemer and becomes the way for mankind to return to be reconciled with God. In addition to that, there is more that they do not understand about the will and the plan of God who is Spirit, not only to save mankind, that is the bigger plan that was not understood by the prophets and even the apostles they did not know. It was still a mystery before the end of times. The promise of the Holy Spirit comes and dwell on this earth. Indeed, the plan of God to create Alpha, his image is alive, to become the bait for the devil who become dark shadow following God because the devil could not be cast. He followed constantly wherever God moved. The devil is eternal creation, because in God there is no evil. Despite the devil is eternal spirit, the devil is created outside of God, from the aura of God, that is the beautiful vibrant of God, and that is eternal as well. But the one outside of God turns out, can become jealous of God, and that is evil for God. So, how can God cast this eternal dark shadow? Therefore, God created His image to be alive and was given a promise so that the dark shadow, namely the devil, was hooked. So, how could it be that this dark shadow, who had been painstakingly casted out by God, but by the human concept of love, that misunderstood, the devil then is invited to repent and wants to be brought back to heaven to be on the side of God? Well, the evil character of the devil is also eternal. Like what I have shared before in the sharing titled The Dark Shadow Who Follows a Lord God. Complete is Alpha and Omega the plan of God who has been worked on since the beginning of time. The difference between Lucifer and Jesus. If Lucifer was the aura of God, the beauty that was outside of God, but Jesus is from the heart of God. When God is about to express it, then Jesus is revealed. Jesus is the Word and always accompanied by the Holy Spirit. God's breath. There, the two elements are originally from inside God, so that what God thinks, what is desired and planned, Jesus and the Holy Spirit must know. All the angels, all of whom are outside of God, do not know if there was no Jesus and no Holy Spirit. So they must be expressed when God speaks and breathes. Only then all the angels know the command and the will of God. For example, Michael the angel is the expression of God's mighty. Lucifer was an expression of God's beauty. And Gabriel is the expression of a messenger, a servant, serving God. Therefore, there is no place of repentance for the Lucifer. There is no Satan, ghost, devil, Lucifer, 
that can be made to repentance. You are deceived. If they are already thrown away to this earth, they have lost. They no longer have the glory of God as it was originally. The spirit that gives the life in this world is knowledge. That is the fruit that is forbidden to eat, so that knowledge becomes the replacement of the fruit of life, the living word. So if you are living from the fruit of the knowledge, automatically the one who accompanies every word that comes out of your mouth, yes, of course, the dragon's breath, the spirit of this world is what it means so that their understanding only reaches out to the purpose for the meaning of life in this world only. It is the contrary to the living word accompanied by the Holy Spirit. Now, the matter of heaven is eternal matter and invisible. What is the guarantee? It should not just a matter of promise. There must be a proof. As for a guarantee to enter heaven and for salvation, like Jesus who gives assurance, firstly is himself. There are three testimonies. He was born, he died as a human, but he could rise as the Spirit of God. Now, isn't he God, the owner of heaven? He can go in and out of heaven. To this day, there is evidence that many people are met by Jesus. Jesus is alive. But to meet the devil, yes you can, because the devil is easy to find. The devil lives on this earth amongst mankind. He lives, not in heaven. Now, this is the difference. If you claim you can go to heaven, which heaven? For there must be a guarantor and must first be redeemed from sin in order to go back to heaven. So that there is not even one angel that has the right to bring a person into heaven without being accompanied by Jesus as a priest where being able to reach the meaning of eternal life what is illustrated by Jesus before the time of judgment in front of God. That is when one enters the realm of death. Only Jesus is capable and only Jesus has the promise to become the way. Please read Luke chapter 16, verse 19, book 31. Jesus said there was a rich man who was always dressed in the finest clothes. He was so rich that he was able to enjoy all the best things every day. There was also a very poor man named Lazarus. Lazarus' body was covered with sores. He was often put by the rich man's gate. Lazarus wanted only to eat the scraps of food left on the floor under the rich man's table, and the dogs came and licked his sores. Later, Lazarus died. The angels took him and placed him in the arms of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. He was sent to the place of death and was in great pain. He saw Abraham far away with Lazarus in his arms. He called, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. Send Lazarus to me so that he can dip his finger in water and cool my tongue. I am suffering in this fire. But Abraham said, My child, remember when you lived? You had all the good things in life, but Lazarus had nothing but problems. Now he is comforted here and you are suffering. Also, there is a big pit between you and us. No one can cross over to help you, and no one can come here from there. The rich man said, Then please, Father Abraham, send Lazarus to my father's house on earth. I have five brothers. He could warn my brothers so that they will not come to this place of pain. But Abraham said, They have the law of Moses and the writings of the prophets to read. Let them learn from that. The rich man said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone came to them from the dead, then they would decide to change their lives. But Abraham said to him, If your brothers won't listen to Moses and the prophets, they won't listen to someone who comes back from the dead.
In the Old Testament, Abraham as the father of believers of all religions of any kind, for those who enter the time of death, they must first meet with Abraham before they meet with God. And here it is stated that Abraham cannot be the way for reconciling faith with God, whereas Lazarus alone who had a place at the bosom of Abraham. During Lazarus' life, he had to experience a life like there is no place for him on this earth, a poorer and miserable life than that of Jesus. Even though Lazarus is a descendant who receive a promise like star in the sky and sand in the sea, Father Abraham's blessing, because based on the faith in God, like Father Abraham, they must walk the walk of their life like Lazarus, even like Siddhartha Gautama, who was a king originally, until he must left the life of a king and willing to become ascetic and recluse himself as his fame in order to be able to reach at the bosom of Father Abraham to have a life that is like Siddhartha Gautama, as well as Lazarus. Even many who become spiritual practitioners, they even experience a life like that of a homeless person, even willing to be called a mad man in order to reach out to faith. The difference by being the follower of Jesus is that all has been born by Jesus. Now, how can it be justified if in the act of faith is by going to war, following in the footsteps of the Old Testament, whereas at the time of Father Abraham, in order to please God's heart and in order to be made righteous, is by willing to sacrifice. It was not because of his obedience to strive for seizing the promised land. Therefore, the making of the foundation of faith that is through power, through politics, through war, all of those are for human satisfaction only and not for God. This must be understood. Seeking the foundation of faith in order to be allowed at the bosom of Abraham. But as rulers, even killing one another is halal. This is very conflicting. In fact, as the basis of faith, they must be willing to lead a mortal life. The purpose of being a follower of Jesus is in order to be able to enter into the work of reconciliation. They no longer have to wait for the footsteps of Siddhartha or Lazarus at the bosom of Abraham. Those are still waiting whether or not they are worthy to receive reconciliation with God. They are still being weighed. However, in Jesus, if they then can and willing to follow in the footsteps of the cross of Christ to defeat their individuality, it is already immediately received reconciliation. They are made like the children of the kingdom, not the children of Father Abraham. What are the advantages of having the foundation of faith in Christ? It is so that you do not have to go in circle first, right on the goal, right to the point, living with Jesus, walking in the work of His cross, in order to be like Jesus, that is when the Holy Spirit is in us, we will be led to share the word and to speak. But when the Holy Spirit is not in us, as Jesus said, everything is finished. For every word does not come from himself, but it is of the Spirit that leads. It is the Holy Spirit. Please read in John chapter 19, verse 28 to 30. Later Jesus knew that everything had been done. To make the scriptures come true, he said, I am thirsty. There was a jar full of sour wine there, so the soldiers soaked a sponge in it. They put the sponge on a branch of a hyssop plant and lifted it to Jesus' mouth. When he tasted the wine, he said, It is finished. Then he bowed his head and died. But because they have faith and the hope of the meaning of their life is for eternal matter, 
So what is taken into account is the deeds of their faith. But because of the waiting and the hope of their faith, that to them they are given the opportunity and asked to go back and may have an awakening like what is pleaded to Father Abraham. But Father Abraham had no way and could not give the way because only in Jesus is the way that is right. He said, I am the way and the truth and the life. Whoever believes in me will receive eternal life. What is the purpose? It is to request redemption, to bring guarantee. It becomes a big problem when matters of redemption and guarantee of faith and hope are brought before Father Abraham as well as to the prophets and even the apostles. But what is available as the way of salvation of eternal life there is only one, Jesus, because He is Christ, the Messiah. Certainly and accurately, His word is as a witness. He made the promise Himself. For besides their sin is redeemed, there is more important. That is, there is someone who reconciled their soul as a guarantor before God. Only then, those who are pleased will receive resurrection of life by the Spirit. Experiencing like Jesus, that is, metamorphosis, and those who are considered to become like Jesus, in order to have time to be processed, his soul will not be demanded by Satan. To look in the mirror, to know that evil can be destroyed, not only just through their visible body, for their soul is already included as invisible. Because of the character of the old self who lives, it has fused into the character of their soul and can only be penetrated by the word that comes out of God alive into the soul to process it, which means the teaching of the word that is not given the promise of the meaning of life that is mortal but it can be total and not be shared for body and soul, so that when the Word comes in to unite with their soul, the Word that becomes a mirror to see their own ugliness, making themselves radical against the evils that exist in their own soul of their blood, they do not compromise with the character of their own self. It is burned up. That's the effect of the living world. Although they can follow in the footsteps of the prophet, if in their character there is no one who can redeem at the time when the character of the blood is open, it becomes a demand. It can be seen as there is jealousy, hatred, and revenge. All can be read. That's when the prosecutor will come. Then it will become bitterness, and if then they become more radical outwardly, so that they will go back to the Old Testament, where the process of being radical was outwardly that gives the impression that God is a sadistic God, reflecting on being Lucifer's children. This is what needs to be questioned, because the meaning of their life, their salvation, it is not just a mere story, it is not just as phenomenon, but going towards the meaning of eternal. Amen.